Hi, I'm Emmeline Choi, the Holistic Facialist, and I'm back this week to talk to you about face masks. Um, face masks are something that I really, really recommend once a week, ideally. And I know some people say that they don't always have time, and um, they're very, very busy, but if you can do a face mask once a week, you will really, really see a difference in your skin. If you are um, one of the lucky ones that can get to me to come and have a facial every three to four weeks, that's amazing. Um, and if, you're, if you can't, then doing a face mask once a week at home is perfect. And if you are coming to me, doing a face mask once a week will also improve the results that you're getting. So I really, really recommend them. The first type of face masks that I really like are and is anything that's really hydrating. So the paper masks are really good. I don't know if you've seen these Korean sheet masks. I use them all the time in the clinic, and they are um, it's it's like a sheet of paper that goes over your mouth. It's covered uh, over your mouth, over your face. It's um, covered in a serum. They have little holes for your eyes, your nose, and your mouth, and you just press it on your face. You look absolutely frightening, <laughs> but you leave it on for around 20 minutes, a half an hour, and they're brilliant for plumping your skin out. Um, they're also, the other type is like a really nice rich creamy face mask which is good for hydrating the skin as well and um, even though it just maybe says hydrating instead of anti-aging, anything that hydrates the skin is going to really plump it out and if you do struggle with fine lines and wrinkles a lot of the time that can just be dehydration and so once you've plumped that out those fine lines can almost disappear. So something that's really hydrating is, is a really good type of face mask. If you struggle with pimples or um, you know acne, then something more purifying might be better. So like a clay mask, more of a setting mask. They're really good. You can just apply a thick layer all over the face and leave that. Again, 10-15 minutes is usually more than enough for something that's a bit more purifying. Wash it off and follow with your creams. And then the other type is something that's more brightening, like a um, at-home glycolic peel they're usually very very gentle it's not anything well it shouldn't be anything that's strong at all and um, yeah I, I retail one here in the clinic actually the Nimue Glyco mask it's very very gentle and just gives you a really fabulous glow it's great if you've got an event um, or you just you just want a nice radiance really so you can do all those things once a week if you have a little bit of extra time or you fancy doing something different, you can make your own face masks at home using um, products from your pantry or from the fridge. You can use, um, if you've got very dry skin, you could use something like avocado that's overripe, mash it up and press it, um, massage it into your skin, leave it again 10-15 minutes. Um, you can use yoghurt and honey. If you've got dry skin, then the full fat yoghurt's always really good. If you're more pimply, then low fat yoghurt is better. And the yoghurt has uh, the lactic acid in, so it does a very gentle exfoliation as well. So that's quite nice to give your skin a nice glow. And then the other one that I've never actually tried, but I know a lot of people use is um, egg white. And you basically just beat an egg white um, in a bowl with a whisk and then apply it probably with a brush is the easiest way. And as it sets, it helps to firm the skin and then obviously you remove it with a warm flannel. I'd wait till it's gone dry and tacky so you get that really firm feeling. And I know quite a few ladies that use them. It's completely up to you what you prefer. Um, if you don't fancy putting egg on your face, then squirting something out of a tube is probably a little bit of a better option. But I would definitely recommend doing something once a week. If you do decide to do a biological mask, as in um, you know making it yourself at home, just do a patch test first because even though it's completely natural, it doesn't mean that it's not going to affect your skin. So you know we still have allergies to nuts and things. So just be really really careful. Do a patch tester on your neck or just kind of around your jawline just to check first that your skin doesn't react but you know hopefully you should be fine. So when it comes to actually doing a face mask, ideally once a week, um, I would recommend uh, if it's night time you're doing it, night time's probably the best time to do it. You do a double cleanse of your face. So. Wash your face first with your normal cleanser and then do a, a second cleanse afterwards, ideally using a flannel to remove every last bit because that will do a gentle exfoliation. You then want to do an exfoliation with a product. So um, in the clinic, I love the Nimue Exfoliating Enzyme, which is a very gentle exfoliator. Um, I describe it like Pac-Man and it comes along and just sort of eats up dead skin cells instead of scratching them away. Or the exfoliating pearls from my range are perfectly spherical little jojoba, be jojoba beads, it's a hard one to say, 
and you massage that onto the skin with your cleansing beauty balm and that's a very gentle exfoliation it just lifts away dead skin cells it's not scratching your skin either just steer clear from anything that's like a ground um, apricot kernel or peach kernels definitely avoid any kind of salt and sugar scrubs on your face because the actual granules are sharp and pointed and so when you're scrubbing your skin you can find that you actually tear um, the top few layers of your skin, you can get redness, irritation, broken capillaries so just be very very careful when it comes to exfoliator either a smooth exfoliating enzyme or something like my exfoliating pearls which are these I say little tiny spherical beads and they just lift dead skin away and they're nothing like those um, beads that are all over the media at the moment you know the ones that are damaging the environment no these are jojoba beads they're natural and they uh, break down so uh, they're not the plastic ones that are doing a lot of damage don't use those either because they're not good for the environment um, so once you've done your exfoliation, so you massage all your exfoliator onto your face you've done it, spent two or three minutes doing it then get a nice warm flannel. You don't want it so hot that you can't wring it out, but you want it nice and warm. And then just press the flannel onto your face. Take the flannel off, drop it back in the water, wring it out, do that two or three times. And then just really soften your skin, warm your skin, and then remove every last bit of exfoliator. This will leave your skin feeling nice and soft, nice and warm, and just allow your face mask to penetrate that a little bit better. So pat your face dry and then apply whichever face mask you prefer. If you're using a setting mask, like a, like a strong clay mask, just be careful around the centre of your neck. You're more than welcome to try it and it might not bother you at all, but for me, if I do a thick layer of like a, um, a clay mask around the centre of my neck, when it starts to dry it goes quite hard and then I feel like I can't breathe <laughs> very easily. So you can either try it and if you're fine that's great because you do really want to treat the centre of your, your neck. But if you find that it gets a little bit tight and you're struggling to kind of <gasps> take a deep breath then just get a nice warm flannel and just pat it just to soften the mask. Um, yeah, I've, I've unfortunately learned that the hard way. I never understood why uh, some people never used to do it and yeah, I found out why. So pop your face mask on, leave it on for around 10 to 15 minutes. If it's a more hydrating one, you could do 20 minutes. And then again, remove it with a warm flannel like you did with the exfoliator. So just press it on your face and let it all kind of soften um, and then uh, do it two or three times again. Obviously, if you've got a paper mask, just peel the mask off and then massage the serum into the skin. Pat your face dry, apply your face oils, serums, eye creams, face creams, you name it, whatever you like. Um, and then I'd just give it, if you're going to bed, give it a good 30 minutes to let all those products soak in before you go to sleep so you don't basically lose them all on your pillow. If you say, or if you think, Emmeline, I've got kids, I've got a full-time job, I'm mad busy, when do you think I'm gonna fit in a face mask as well? Like, you know, <laughs> I haven't got time. Try and build it into your schedule. I'm really busy um, and I, I find that I'm always running around as well so to cut time you could either split it over two days so before you go to bed you could after you've done a cleanse do a gentle exfoliation put your creams on go to sleep wake up in the morning and then um, just cleanse your face and before you get in the shower just apply your face mask then then the steam from the shower should hopefully help the pen the face mask to penetrate a little bit better so that's another option and then you don't really feel like you're wasting time you literally just apply it before you get in the shower and obviously don't don't wash your face in the shower and then when you get out or whilst you before you get out the shower just remove it with a nice warm flannel and then at least that way you're still getting a face mask in once a week the other option is um something like an overnight face mask I use in the clinic the Nimu anti-aging overnight mask, it's brilliant, I sell so much of it, people love it, it's very very hydrating, very nourishing, I wouldn't recommend it for oilier skins but if you're struggling with fine lines, wrinkles, dehydration, it's great, two or three times a week you just apply it on your face instead of all your creams before you go to bed, wake up in the morning, remove it, face mask is done um, and yeah so you've got no excuse with something like an overnight mask. Um, so yeah, if you can do that once a week, that's brilliant, just to kind of keep on top of your skin, you know, spring is coming, we kind of want to get that nice fresh glow back, so um, yeah, I, I would recommend doing that once a week. Um, so I think, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoy this video, and uh, yeah, I'll see you again soon. Bye!